Hey guys, what is up? It's Sector here back with another video and today guys I'm gonna be going ahead and doing a speed and camera test between the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10R to see which one you should choose between those two factors. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So starting off, we're gonna go ahead and do a simple day-to-day -day speed test like opening apps, then exporting a quick 20 second 1080p video in iMovie, and finally testing out the performance in terms of gaming. So starting off, let's go ahead and launch the camera app, and as you can see right here, the iPhone XR was probably around half a second faster. Next for Instagram, they opened at the exact same time. For Snapchat, although both loaded at the same time, surprisingly, the iPhone 8 did seem to load about a fraction of a second faster. After that for the App Store, the iPhone 8 actually loaded just a little faster than the XR. For loading web pages in Safari, both the iPhone 8 and XR loaded at the same time, although the iPhone XR loaded the top of the web page first before they both loaded the content. And finally for maps, it did seem like the iPhone XR was a little faster. Next for the video exporting, I'm exporting a 20 second video that I shot at 1080p on both the iPhone XR and the iPhone 8 with iMovie. And for the results, it did seem like the iPhone XR was faster again, but only by a second. Finally, for the speed test portion of this video, we're gonna go in and look at gaming on both the iPhone XR and iPhone 8 by playing Fortnite. Starting off with just the app launch time, it seems like again that the iPhone XR is just slightly faster in terms of app launch. However, upon getting into the actual game, on default settings, they were both able to handle pretty decent graphics at 60 FPS with no lag or delay of any sort. So I would say that in terms of gaming, both are really similar as well. And finally for the camera, as you can see in these shots right now, you can see that the iPhone XR has way better colors, which made these dead flowers look less dead. However, other than the colors, most of these photos look pretty similar, and overall both the phones are great in terms of cameras. So in conclusion, I think that both are great phones, but in terms of what the price of the iPhone 8 is compared to the XR, it really does seem like a way better deal, especially just spec-wise. For the camera, there is a notable difference in the XR, but for everything else other than the design seems pretty similar. This makes getting the XR really not worth it, unless you want the new edge-to-edge -edge displays found in all of this year's iPhones. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to leave a like, and if you'd like to see more tech videos just like this, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.